Hey, good dive back again. Once again, let's go ahead and lock in. I have got to send a shout out. I've got to send a shout out to my brothers, to my gentlemen, my men, my foreigners who travel to the Philippines that can keep their numbers relatively low. I have to show love to all of my brethren out there that can go to the Philippines and keep their numbers low. Now, a lot of y'all may be looking at the good line. <laughs> A lot of y'all may be looking at the good doc wondering, Doc, what in the world are you talking about now? So glad you asked. Let's get into it. Um, gentlemen, it is very, very, very difficult for a newbie, new man, travel to the Philippines and control themselves, right? You come to the Philippines, man, you see all the beautiful, beautiful young ladies that the country has to offer, you know, and, you know, all the access to the young ladies that you have, the fact that you're a foreigner, the fact that you're rare, and all of this good jazz. It becomes difficult to control yourself and contain yourself because you probably want to get with every woman that even says hi to you. You probably want to get with every woman that even gives you any attention. You probably want to try to, quote unquote, conquer as many women as humanly possible. But much love to the brothers who know how to control themselves. They refer to it as dick discipline to an extent. It's kind of what this is in this video, but it's more or less about the mindset. It's more or less about your ability to be able to say, God, I know that you put all these beautiful women in front of me to tempt me, but you know what? If I'm going to be a good dude, if I'm going to be a good dude and stick to one, or maybe two, just got to have a side chick, right? But you want to at least give yourself a two girl maximum to an extent. That's just being fair. Right, you might want to deal with a couple of girls here, a couple of girls there and everything, but the downside to all of it is, you know, Philippines is very small for foreigners, guys, and foreigners stick out like sore thumbs. So if you're dealing with one girl in an area and you try to deal with another girl in that exact same area, chances are these Filipinas, the way that they talk, there probably is no more than a three to five degree of separation between young lady number one and young lady number two right the way filipinas talk there's probably a less than a three degree separation she just so happens to be the cousin of the somebody of the brother of a co-worker or some shit and they just happen to find out that they were both entertaining and or dealing with the same foreigner joe because of some reason maybe they posted a picture of this guy on their social media facebook page or whatever you know you just find out that you know you're dealing with each other and guess what type of problems and issues that brings to you the foreigner gentlemen big problems big problems big 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 problems because you know it's just not cool bro Ain't nothing worse than when you get caught up with dealing with two young ladies and they want to, you know, expose you and shit. And everybody's like, oh, that foreigner there, he's a bad one. You know, all he wants to do is just sleep around. And, you know, there's nothing worse than getting a bad reputation amongst Filipinas. And we already know, man, who are they more likely to believe? You or their fellow Filipina? I need not say more. So when I go back to how I started, I want to at least tell you again, gentlemen, much respect to the ones that can keep their numbers low in a place like the Philippines because temptation is there. My father once told me, and I told y'all this just, I told y'all before and I'll say it again. I say it in live streams, I say it absolutely every single time I get the chance because I believe it's noteworthy. Gentlemen, you cannot get them all. You cannot screw them all. You cannot mess with them all, no matter how hard you try. You can try, oh, you can try, but you can't get them all, right? You can't get them all. And as a result of that, all this trying to get with them all can only lead to bad results. Like I said, it'll either lead to somebody finding out that that's your mentality or the way that you carry yourself. It could lead to you messing with the wrong girl, getting the wrong girl or dealing with the wrong young lady who has some very, very dangerous relatives, cousins and uncles and a father who don't mind chopping up foreigners with machetes and whatnot. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, let your imagination run wild with that one. But you understand where I'm coming from, right? You deal with one girl and it turns out not well for her and she's crying and she goes to the right person and they find out a little bit more about you. They will run your ass out of that particular area. Guaranteed. You see? So I want you to understand why I have a high respect for guys that can control themselves. Call it dick, dis dick discipline if you want to. But the guys that can really control and maintain. 
because these are the guys that are going to go far, right? Because if you can keep yourself to a two, maybe three girl minimum, if you're choosing to play the field a little bit, I would say no more than two personally. Um, if you can keep it to a two girl minimum, a two girl maximum, sorry. What ends up happening is if things don't work out with one of them, you can easily just rotate that out and then rotate another one in, right? So you end it as opposed to trying to carry on relationships or carry on situationships with two or three other women in the country where, again, like I said, it could lead to some detrimental situations, some things that you won't have to answer to, Playboy, and I'm not sure if you're ready for it. Feel me? Um, if you can control that, I believe that you stand a higher percentage chance of getting around relatively well without a lot of issue, right? But again, I'm a human being first. I am a man first. And I want you to understand that even I am aware of how difficult it can be to contain yourself, to deal with two women at a time at best, maybe three max, depending on the size of the city. Manila, you might be able to get away with more, a little bigger. Angelis, probably not so much. Smaller, but, you know, you know, never mind. Uh, Davao City, I would say I wouldn't try in the city area no more than two, maybe three. Cebu, maybe you could probably do two or three as well. Again, keeping your numbers low. And the respect that I have for the guys that can keep their numbers low is high. I have a high respect for that, right? A lot of people don't understand what I'm saying until it's, been a situation that they've been through where in they're dealing with a young lady that is not willing to let things go who is really being the worst part of herself that you, she could possibly be stalking you when she's always around she's always texting because you bedded her where you lay your head down at night she's constantly at your place hanging around your place waiting for you to come around waiting for you to do something ever heard of the term fatal attraction gentlemen I think they are definitely pre relevant prevalent in a place like the Philippines fatal attractions are legit okay I've known a lot of brothers who have gone through it I got stories for days I've shared one in particular with my audience on live shows before thank God none of them were ever me and the reason it was never me that's a part of the situation is because I learned early. Like I said, man, I learned early. And clarification was key to me when I was told, son, by my father, you can't get them all, son. So don't try. Even if you wanted to, you just can't do it. It's not worth it. Right? It's not worth it. Because I don't know about y'all. But when I put forth effort and energy, can you imagine trying to deal with three different women at one time or two different women for that fact, right? Sending a text message and you got to make sure you're texting the right person, all that text message energy, that textual energy we just recently talked about. Oh, that's real. That's real. And Filipinas are going to have an expectation that you're going to text them back. And if you don't text them back, they're going to miscall you. They're going to call you constantly and hang up the phone, hang up the phone just so that they want you to know that they're trying to reach out to you right it's dangerous y'all and it becomes a headache it becomes monotonous it becomes a pain in the butt it pretty much runs a lot of foreigners to the pay for play activity <laughs> if you ask me i think it runs a lot of them to that right but if you're trying to have quote unquote semi-meaningful relationships with these young ladies right it's gonna be hard to do that with more than two it's gonna be damn near difficult to do that with two right it's gonna be hard to even do that with two so I just wanted to give you all this PSA, man. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If this video provided you some value in any capacity, man, there's a thank you button down at the bottom that says thank you. Click that heart, man. It, it'll show some appreciation to the channel, man. If you guys want to support, you already know what to do, man. The PayPal link and the Cash App's all in the description area below. All of my other good stuff, ebooks, description area below. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's time for the good doctor to go and get to getting, man. So with that being said, good doc is officially out. At least not go back alone, which means I. Uh, bye bye. As always, love you guys. Sincerely, do Makita Mapuhai. Peace.